Hi friends, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to connect with AWS EC2 Linux instance using Putty software. All right. First, what is EC2? EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. It is most widely used service in the AWS cloud. By using this EC2 service, we can create virtual machines in the AWS cloud. If you want to deploy your application in the AWS cloud, then you can take one virtual machine in the AWS cloud by using EC2. This EC2 instances you can create for free of cost first one year. From the date you sign up into AWS cloud, one year it will give you free service for launching your virtual machines. Monthly 750 hours you can run EC2 instances for free of cost. If you exceed that, then charges will apply. All right, let's get started. Now I'm going to create a EC2 instance in the AWS cloud. To create that instance, AWS is providing one default VPC. That is a network which is given by the AWS to create our resources, virtual private cloud. A isolated network AWS will provide using this VPC. AMI concept is available. AMI is a template. Using the template, we can launch our instances. To launch a Linux instance, a template will be available. To launch Windows instance, a template will be available. Here I will use a Linux machine image to create a Linux instance. For machine, some storage is required. AWS is providing the storage using Elastic Black Store service, that is EBS. By default, for Linux instances, we are going to get 8 GB. Using this AMI, using this EBS and VPC, I'm going to launch one EC2 instance using Linux operating system. Now, to connect with that EC2 instance, a firewall security group will be available. To connect to that instance, I'm going to enable SSH protocol in the security group as an inbound role. Then, I'm going to connect with that EC2 instance from outside by using some client software. There are several client softwares are available to connect with the EC2 instances. Mobile Xtrom, Putty, like that we can use any one of the software to connect with the EC2 instance. All right, first let me create EC2 instance in the AWS cloud. Then I will show you how to connect with that instance using Putty. So currently no instance is under running state. Let me launch one instance now launch instance instance name i can give the instance name as my web server using amazon linux ami instance type t2 micro it is free tier eligible for first one year after that charges apply here you can see how much they are going to charge per hour if you cross that free tier limit then charges apply key pair so to connect with the instances securely AWS will suggest us to use a key pair. So currently here key pair is not available. Let me create a new pair. It is highly recommended to create a key pair. So key pair, I'm giving the key pair name as my AWS key. You can give any name, RSA type, private key file format. Do you want to use PEM or you want to use PPK? If you use PPK, directly you can connect with Putty. But mostly we are going to use PEM files, right? Create a key pair with this PEM file. Now, when I selected that PEM option, that PEM file got downloaded, my AWS key.pem. That is used to connect with the EC2 instance securely. A security group by default, it is allowing SSH traffic to connect with the instance. Fine. Now, launch the instance. The instance is getting started. You can see successfully initiated launch of instance. This is the instance ID. Select this instance ID. Now you can see the status of the instance. Now go to new EC2 experience here. We can see that the instance is getting started. Once you select this instance, that instance public IP will be displayed here. Using that public IP, we can connect to that instance. The instance is ready. It is in the running state. What is the key pair we have downloaded? We have downloaded PEM file. Now I want to connect with that instance using Putty. So go to putty.org you can download your putty software from here already i have downloaded putty and i installed in my machine here you can see my putty software is available under program files now how to connect with that instance using putty right 
we have PEM file, but PuTTY requires a PPK file. We need to convert that PEM file into PPK file. I downloaded PEM file when I'm creating the EC2 instance that contains a security key to connect with the instances. Private key will be available. Now I'm going to give this PEM file to PuTTY gen that PuTTY gen will give me PPK file. PEM stands for Privacy Enhanced Mail is a base 64 container format for encoding keys and certificates. Now here I'm going to use PPK, PuTTY private key. It is a Windows SSH client. We need to convert that PEM file to PPK file. So at the time of creating EC2, if you select PPK directly, you can connect with the PuTTY. If you download PEM file, that PEM file should be converted into PPK file using PuTTY gen software. Right, now let us see how I am going to convert that. So go to PuTTY installation folder. There is PuTTY gen.exe, open this file, load the private key which we have downloaded under downloads. So we can select all the files here. My AWS key.pem file is available. Click on open. Now successfully imported that, okay. Then save that private key. I'm going to save that private key with a name called my AWS key. It will save with the .ppk extension. Click on save. Fine. Now go to downloads. Now you can see PEM file is downloaded. By using that PEM file, I created PPK file by using PuTTY gen software. So once the PPK file is available, now we can use the PuTTY software to connect with our EC2 using this PPK file. All right. Now go to EC2, take this public IP, copy this public IP. Now open PuTTY, PuTTY.exe will be available. Open this PuTTY. Host name, that is IP address, public IP address of our EC2. Port number 22, SSH connections. Now we need to give that PPK file. Go to this SSH option. Here, auth option is available. Private key file for authentication. SSH, auth, here browse. Select the PPK which we have created. Select this PPK, click on open. Now it is trying to connect with my EC2 accept it now login as what is the username of our ec2 instance default username will be ec2 iphone user authenticating with the public key whatever the private key we have given it is authenticating that private key with the public key public key will be available in aws we have downloaded that private key in the form of pem file that pem file we converted to ppk file using putty gen now we are able to connect you can check who am I? My username is EC2 user, present working directory, slash home, slash EC2 user, touch f1.txt. We can create one file also. Check the file which you created, ls-l. Yes, f1.txt file is created. With this, we are able to understand how to connect with EC2 instance using PuTTY software. PuTTY software you can download directly from the net. The important thing, converting PEM file to PPK file using PuTTY gen. This you need to understand. Right, this is EC2. I'm administrator. I'm working as administrator for this EC2 now. I have given that PEM file to my PuTTY. That PuTTY is connecting with the EC2 instance by using SSH connection. I hope you understood how to connect with EC2 using PPK file with the help of PuTTY. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more updates. See you in the next video.